With a plethora of headsets out there on the market, it's kind of hard for us budget gamers to decide which way to go when it comes down to buying something that's quality and also affordable. Well guys, I think I found that solution. And in just a moment, we're gonna be doing a review of this excellent headset that I got from Amazon not too long ago. Stay tuned. What's up fellow gamers, this is Ventures here and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a review of the HyperX Cloud Stinkle Core gaming headset for the PlayStation 4 and PC. Where we're going over its build quality, its features, and find out whether or not it's worth your hard-earned dollars as a budget gamer to purchase this headset over the vast amount of other headsets on the market. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So as taking a look at the unboxing of this actual headset, you'll notice right away that it's very minimalistic in its packaging. The headset comes in a very plastic uh, actual holding. and You just get the headset, the cables, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you might be wondering, well, where are the instructions? Where is all these different things? Well, HyperX cleverly hid those particular things inside the inside of the packaging of the box. So if you open up the box and look deep down, you'll see all the instructions and all the different things for the headset. I think they purposely did that to save paper and also give you an idea of how well they can actually hide those particular um, items on there. So, you know, you have those always with you it means you have to keep the box right but with unboxing aside uh let's get into the actual headset as well so taking a look at the hyper x cloud single core you will notice right away that this headset is very lightweight and decently built for the price that you pay for it here uh it is very light you can just pick this up you can tell right off the bat this is not going to be something heavy on your head or give you a lot of pain or a lot of uh ear ache or anything like that uh there's not a lot of huge mechanical issues in there it's pretty simplistic in its the nature uh and it's a very very decent build quality design it is an all plastic design around the headset um you know the the cuffs the the the, the band the inside of the band the microphone uh the cables is all ready to be a, a plastic design but that doesn't mean it's skeptical quality because when you know you have a hyper x headset things like this this level of bend and flexibility is commonplace for them their headsets are known to have an extreme amount of flex and flex it does you don't have to worry about having a too small of head too big of head not having a head at all it doesn't really matter because these headsets will fit you very very comfortably uh, these headsets have a very decent amount of flex and you know that they're not going to be easily broken if you put them down on the desk or or you know if you put them down and happy to step on them a little bit they're going to have a really good uh way of being able to be pliable and, and and not uh something that's just going to snap in the next couple of months and if something like that does worry you hyper s does offer a two-year warranty on the headset so you can just hit them up let them know hey something's going on there and they should take care of you from there now getting into the features of the headset uh you even notice that right off the bat that it has a very soft mesh material on the inside right along the headband it's a nice soft uh, mesh material, uh, very cushiony type material. Uh, it's not super thick, but it, it doesn't really uh, cause a lot of pain on top of the head or anything either. Uh, the ear cuffs around are with the same material, very plush, uh, very nice and easy to push down. They, they feel real good on the ear. These are over the ear ear cuffs and they do sit relatively nice. Uh, they have the blue ring around it as well to show you that it is for a PlayStation version. Even though these do have a uh, version that you can buy for the Xbox 360, I think these will work all around for all the different devices, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, uh, probably the Switch as well, uh, PlayStation 5, uh, you name it, these probably work for it. Uh, getting more into the ear cuffs, these do have 40 millimeter drivers and the sound of the quality of the ear cuffs really, really well. I noticed that the mids were really, really clear. Uh, the bass wasn't very, very punchy, but it's to be expected for a headset of this price. Uh, but all around, as far as sound quality, uh, it does have very good clear quality as far as sound. Uh, you do get to hear things like footsteps when you're playing some shooters, or if you have things that have kind of more whimsical kind of sounds, you'll be able to hear them in this headset relatively well. You won't be disappointed as far as the, 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 the sounds you get from this headset. Uh, I, I found them to be uh, quite quality and something that they didn't really skimp on as far as sound quality goes. Now the microphone. 
that is something else entirely. The microphone does have a very nice, flexible, actual maneuverable, uh, actual band here on the mic. Uh, it is a cardioid mic, so it speaks directly in front. So it doesn't have problems picking up voice, but that's about the only thing that I can say very good about this microphone. In my opinion, the microphone actually does not have a relatively great sound to it. Uh, it seemed a little more muffled in my testing. Uh, and even though it was clear and uh, some of the people I talked to said that they can hear me pretty well, I didn't particularly like the sound when I played it back. So if you want to hear the microphone sound, we'll get into that right now. Now, wait a minute, before we actually get into the microphone, I just also want to mention that some of you guys may be new here. And if you are, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So you know, when anytime I upload my videos to my channel, it really helps me grow. And I would definitely appreciate it if you guys would do that. So it really helps. So without further ado, let's get into that sound test. So guys, this is a sound test of the HyperX Cloud Stingle Core headset for the PlayStation 4. Uh, this is how the microphone sounds. You can hear it in all its clarity. You can hear all the different sounds and everything. And I'll let you determine whether or not you think this microphone is pretty good for an average headset when it comes to voice chatting, commentary, or what have you, whatever you need it for. But this is how the microphone sounds. And yeah, you be the judge. Now the HyperX Class Single Core also has uh, two cables coming from each one of the actual ear cups. Uh, two dedicated cables that come down into an actual cable here, which goes into almost like a uh, little controller here. So it has inline controls uh, where you can mute the mic and unmute the mic and also a volume control here that allows you to adjust the volume uh, for your game chat or your audio party chat for whatever you're, you're speaking on. And it's pretty much a pretty long cable. I'd probably say it's roughly about, uh, I'd say probably about four feet worth of cable uh, going to your actual uh, you know, PC or whether it be in your controller. So it's long enough to be able to feel comfortable and use and I didn't have problems with having it being too short on my end. Now getting to the way this headset actually feels. It actually feels extremely comfortable. Putting this on your head feels great. It is so lightweight, very much nice build quality. The ear cuff sits around the ear and it makes it just feel as if you're you're almost like having a, a nice soft pillow on your head. It feels that good. I've had this headset on testing it for four hours and I didn't experience really any ear pains, any sweaty, any itching or anything of that nature with this headset. I almost got up and used the bathroom with the headset because it felt so comfortable. I forgot it was on my head. It wasn't because it was corded was the only reason I knew that the headset was actually on my head when I went to go walk away. So if that says anything to you, th th this headset is just is relatively comfortable all around. So my final thoughts on the HyperX Cloud Stingle Core gaming headset. I think that even though it has a huge amount of competition out there for the price that you pay for this headset, I think that it just beats so many of these headsets out there. This is one of the best quality uh, budget headsets that I've ever tried. It's very minimalistic at its core, but this headset packs great quality into it. I mean, the headset is nice build quality. It comes from HyperX, and so you know you're getting good, decent quality and brand. The flexing on this actual headset, you're not gonna get almost anywhere else. Uh, you got the nice soft ear cuffs. You have the uh, actual really flexible mic. Even though the microphone wasn't the best quality in sound, uh, it still was good enough for game chat and things of that nature. You have the inline control that was very snappy and didn't give me any particular troubles when using it. And I just think all around, if you're going to actually buy a quality headset from a quality brand, you can't go wrong with these particular headsets right here. That's my review of the HyperX Cloud Stinker Core gaming headset for PlayStation 4 and PC. Is this something that you would pick up and add to your gaming setup over at your house or maybe your office? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about the product I just reviewed or any product that I have on my channel, feel free to hit me on my Discord down below. The link is in the description. I am very active there and answer a lot of questions and concerns for anybody that has questions that I didn't quite cover in this review or maybe you just have a burning question that you just wanna ask. Follow me on my Discord and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have for me there. So with that out of the way, thank you guys for watching 
And remember to keep that flame going inside for gaming. This is Ventures signing out and I will see you in the next one. Later gamers.